Green Flash's Passion Fruit Kicka is one of my favorite beers of all time, and I'm about to tell you why. What's up guys, Sergeant Suds here. Got another beer review for you today. We're looking at uh, Green Flash's Passion Fruit Kicker. Now in the intro, uh, I went ahead and suggested this is one of my favorite beers. Um, if you've ever been keeping up with my either my written blog or my, my channel, I guess I haven't probably mentioned Passion Fruit Kicker on the channel to this point, but if you've been keeping up with my blog, you'll know that um, I rank each beer that I consume in a month um, for review purposes from first, uh, worst to first at the end of every month. Now in June, Passion Fruit Kicker, I believe won the number one spot. It was one, two, somewhere up there. Um, I'm gonna preface this by saying I love wheat beer and I love fruit beer. So um, this being a passion fruit wheat is in a pretty good position. Probably not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but here it goes. Okay, so one of the things I love about this beer is the, um, I guess the semi-sour and, and the tartness that comes with it you wouldn't think looking at it, you know, it's a very light kind of color. You're expecting this probably just to be a general wheat, fairly innocuous, safe, nothing too crazy going on. But I mean, if this was smell of vision all you would be able to smell is like, like the sour kind of sweet tart, like the complexities of passion fruit. And if you're someone like me, I love passion fruit. It's delicious. Tropical fruits in general, I'm, I'm all about. And one of the things I really commend this beer about is they do an excellent, excellent job of kind of um, pinpointing the qualities of it. You know, um, in the process of, of building my website, I've reviewed quite a few fruit beers. Um, some of them have been excellent. Some of them kind of missed the mark. I think when you make a fruit beer, a lot of the time you run the risk of kind of underutilizing the, the flavor of the fruit and kind of having a watered down, not so appetizing situation. But one of the things I love about this one here is it comes in strong. So just looking at the beer here, you can see it's quite hazy. It's a nice pale color. Um, carbonation is relatively uh, medium, I guess. Um, can't really see it through the haze necessarily, but you will have noticed that it did build quite a substantial head. Um, it is lacing a little bit. The, the head's holding, uh, holding its body at that point. And as I said, like smelling this, you don't even really smell the beer. All you smell is that kind of sweet, sour, tropical fruit kind of thing going on. And again, I mean, the, the body is, is about as thick as you would expect coming from a wheat beer, but you get this really nice kind of wave of the passion fruit flavor coming through. And it's not something that's necessarily overwhelming but it comes in right the perfect balance, you know. You get a little bit of the beer flavor at the start, you get the rush of the passion fruit, and then in the aftertaste, you kind of get a balance of, you know, again, the, the kind of sweet and tart turns of the passion fruit on top of what is essentially a, a really good wheat beer. Um, I've never tried any of Green Flash's other beers. I've seen them a couple of them around here. I know they're brewed in uh, California, so you don't see as much of it here in Texas as, as you probably would want to, but I know they have like Tangerine Express IPA or something to that effect. Um, most of their beers are, from memory are IPAs, so it's a little different to see um, the wheat beer. And you know, as again, I love wheat beers, all kinds. Hefweizen's, uh, Berliner Weiss, all that kind of stuff. So this is pretty cool to me to kind of see the best of both worlds in, in two areas that I really, really enjoy in beer. Um, could not recommend this any more highly, guys. If you see this one, it's hard to miss, you know, with this nice purple stripe here. Pick it up and try it. I mean, there's a pretty good chance it isn't your cup of tea. As I said, it kind of hits the sweet spot for me because it encapsulates both things that, or two of the things that I really enjoy about beer. Um, I can see why a lot of people probably wouldn't enjoy it nearly as much, but either way, it's something that you should really pick up and experience at least once. Cause you know, coming into this, I was very skeptical about fruit beers and this was about the third or fourth one that I tried. Um, and it kind of set the benchmark, you know, when I'm comparing things, Again, there's been a few that have been kind of disappointing, but this one 
gets great recommendation from me. So I would, as I said, pick it up if you, if you see it out there. So guys, that's the review. If you've enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Uh, we've got more reviews coming up here soon. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, cheers.